Hi, this is Trace Davis. We're here with Tone Talk with Five Finger Death Punch guitar player Jason Hook. So. Let's talk about guitar tone for you. I know where you come from and what your influences are and whatnot, but what do you, what do you look for in guitar tone? Well, I like articulation. Um, Obviously, to me, the challenge is to get that really nice, rich, lush gain, but without the uh, the blur. Yep. You know what I mean? There's, I, I describe it as a layer of sort of that fuzzy, buzzy stuff that sits on top that starts to blur everything together and right. chew it up, and you lose... You lose the articulation. Kind of like the foam clarity. on the top of your cappuccino. Just, <laughs> you that makes perfect sense. So, I mean, you're, you're actually one of the players that is really good at controlling high gain. Uh, some guys, not so much. Kind of like, you know, like Ed Van Halen. Uh, you know, most people know that I'm a big fan. But he would always, like, he would have a lot of gain, but he would very much keep it under control with his fingers. He's very and, good yeah, at that. Yeah, yes. and, uh, and anybody else would pick up his guitar and just all running yep. out of control. <laughs> but I think that for me, um, I kind of like to have gain available, but then start, start, start to dial it back. To a point where you're hearing the uh, you know the attack and the uh, the transients of each note and the and the picking and stuff like that for certainly for rhythms you know mm -hmm. um, but for leads you know I certainly you know sometimes I like a little bit more just because it's easier to play I you're think not most guys do yeah. you don't want to fight it nobody wants to fight you're it not, you don't want to fight it you don't want to hit a dry note you know in the middle of your you know <laughs> right exactly little little gain assist on, on <laughs> little, that, little help little love little help yeah <laughs> but uh, but that's it it I like. You know, I like some stuff that's rich. I like the mid bite. You know, mm -hmm. that certainly comes from that kind of martially sound. Um, I think that the guitar sort of occupies that zone. It's a mid range instrument. It's a yes. mid range you instrument, mid and uh, and I think that if you sort of, I like to sort of bump up the mids a little bit. Again, very Van Halen, but it kind of cuts through mm -hmm. that that little area that the guitar is supposed to live in. It's a tone that I personally like. You know, I'm. It's hard not to like Eddie, <laughs> and with that kind of mid range, you yeah, know, yeah. the British mid range, I guess right, you'd right. say, um, it's very cool to me. Well, I so. think that uh, a lot of the metal guys, or the trend, used to be scooping that. Yes. And then, so now you're now now you're living in like the cymbals and the kick drum zone, and mm -hmm. you've you've taken away your your frequency uh, zone where the guitar is actually supposed to poke. You were supposed to sit in the mix, so, sit right? In the mix, right. Yep. <clears throat> well, in the last couple. I'd say two or three years. I used to prior to this, I used to see a lot more people wanting to scoop, and now we're starting mm -hmm. to see it come up more balanced and even. Yeah, from what a lot of people are asking for, yeah. so which I think is a good thing. Interesting. Yeah, <laughs> it sounds more correct or balanced. Yeah, at least from a guitar player's point of view, that's how I would see it. It's it's tricky for us because we're playing in baritone tuning. Well, that's true because you're also shifting yeah. the frequencies down the so lower the tuning goes too. It's, yeah, it's like rocking out on a bass. Mm -hmm. So that that I mean that all the years of trying to establish good tone, kind of the rules went out the window. <laughs> you know, so well, you spent years just as regular standard tuning, or maybe a half step yeah, down, half or step down, you know, but nothing, very, yeah. nothing further down than that, really. Yeah, it, but once you pick up a guitar that's tuned B to B. Um, it's just pump, it's just moving different frequencies around, and it's like you're trying to get it to sound like you're the stuff you're in that love you're used with. To. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know, that's familiar. that's a little tricky. It's tricky. It's tricky. harder than people realize. Yeah, if the amp has to be set up to accommodate it too. Yeah, I think. Well, that's where we get gurus like you on our side. <laughs> we can call friends. Way too kind. <laughs> call a friend. <laughs> well, I remember when we first started working together. Uh, I don't know, five years ago, maybe mm -hmm. something like that. When you when you got in the band on the starting the second record. Yes. Um, we started modding some Marshall GMP ones, and then started modding some Marshall heads and so forth. <coughs> and uh, I know a lot of people have asked me, you know, hey, how much <coughs> of a role does you know Jason play in in guitar tone and describing guitar tone? And to me, I, I you you actually compared to a lot of other people, you played a, a little bit of a bigger role than most. Yeah, like a menacing role. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could you know cite certain songs, you know certain <coughs> pieces of. Uh, songs you know maybe right. a certain time frame from this point to this point you know that kind of thing which i think is very cool